this research work was carried out at the University of Campania within their fifth project. Parallel jaw grippers are the most common devices used in industrial applications for object grasping. Jaw grippers can not only grasp an object firmly, but rotational and or translational sliding motion can be required to the object with the aim to change its pose, depending on the task to execute. This is the so-called extrinsic dexterity concept. Our approach is model-based. We use it the limit surface model, which gives us information about the maximum force and torque that we can apply before slippage occurs. Look at the picture where the soft sensor pad of our tactile sensor is in contact with the rigid transparent object. You can clearly see the circular contact area of radius r. The instantaneous motion of the object in the plane can be described as pure rotation about the point, the so-called center of rotation. For each position of the core, we are able to numerically calculate the point of the limit surface, as in this figure, where it is reported for different grip forces. Note that the computation assumes Earth's and contact. With a priori knowledge of the maximum linear friction force and the maximum torsional friction moment, we can normalize the limit surface. The parameters needed are the friction coefficient mu and the maximum torque parameters alpha and gamma, which can be experimentally identified. Note how the different limit curves collapse into a single curve independently from the grip force. In order to model the inch pen slip, it's important to estimate the instantaneous core. In the paper, we have numerically found a relationship between the ratio C of R and this variable sigma, which depends on the measured at T and tau T. Neural network is then used to approximate the relationship. The estimated core is used in a one-off model of the instantaneous rotation of the object. If no slipping occurs, the elastic torque of the soft part balances the friction torque. In case of slipping, the unbalancing produces perturbation of the equilibrium that can be detected by a properly designed common filter. The slipping control algorithm computes the grip force as the sum of two contributions, a static and a dynamic one. The static contribution is the solution of this equation. This contribution brings the point of the normalized external forces on the black line in the figure. In this way, the grip force is high enough to balance the external loads without any slippage in case of constant load. The dynamic contribution is an integral control action on the residual of the Kalman filter, which usefully exploits the estimated core needed to combine the measured tangential force with the measured torsional moment. Here we can see a complete video of an in-hand manipulation task. The robot picks an object without knowing its weight nor its center of gravity. Afterwards, in order to reorient the object in hand, it performs a pivoting task by decreasing grip force until the measured torsional moment reaches the desired value. Finally, the slipping avoidance algorithm is reactivated and the robot places the object on the box again. Thank you for watching and see you at the interactive session.